Hello everyone and welcome to the basic statistics tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going over the calculations one must do to obtain the different measures of central tendency and variance. In this tutorial we'll be using a specific example I have created for this tutorial uh, and we can see that at the top of the screen which focuses on math test scores. The data set for this tutorial is listed right here so you can see all of them listed. And we will be using this data set in order to do all of these calculations here at the bottom of the page. I have already ordered these from lowest to highest to make it a little bit quicker when we go through picking out the median and looking at for the mode and uh, calculating range, so on and so forth. So for our purposes, we will be using this listing right here uh, in order to do these calculations. Now one of the first things that we typically want to report about a data set is the mean or the average. Uh, this is probably one of the easier things to calculate, especially in comparison to the variance or standard deviation, especially when you're doing this by hand, uh, is to of course sum up all of the data points that we have. So what we will be doing is taking all of our data here, adding all of these together, that's what, of course, this little summation sign means. You can see right here, the sum of x means that we just sum all of our x's, or all of our data points together, and then divide by n. n, of course, here on the bottom, represents our number of data points that we have. In this case, we have 19. So I'm going to write this up here at the top of the page so we know it for future reference. Okay? Now, to calculate our average, then, we will just need to, of course, know what, it, what the sum of all of these x's ends up being, which I have already calculated for us. Uh, and the sum of all of these numbers is 1503, so 1,503. So we will end up putting that on the top of our equation here. And then on the bottom, we will put our n, which, as I calculated up here, is 19. So we have 1503 divided by 19. And once we, of course, divide 19 into 1503, we get the average of 79.11. 79 now, of course, most of the time we want to, to round to two decimal places, so that's why we only have two decimal places here. So the mean is 79.11. The next measure of central tendency we want to calculate or to determine would be our median. Our median is the center point in our data set, so it's the very center of all of the points that we have. And in our data set, uh, we can calculate this by looking, of course, at the number of items we have in our data set. In this case, of course, we had 19 uh, that we've already listed up here at the top. So our n is 19, which is an odd number. Uh, the fact that it's an odd number tells us that we actually have the center point as a data set in our data set. Uh, versus having to actually calculate between two different points, which is what would happen if our n was 18, for example. We would actually have to calculate the difference between the two middle points to determine the actual midpoint. So in this case, n being 19, it's odd, so that means what we need to do is find out where the center data point is. 19, that means that we would have 8 points on each side, or I'm sorry, 9 points on each side, 18 total, which would make the one in the middle our 19th. So if we count over, so let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, our 10th point, data point, 85, would be our median. So our median is 85. Another thing that we like to calculate for central tendency is the mode, and this gives us an idea of what the most common data point was in our data set. In this example, we have only two numbers that were repeated. One of them was 85, which we can see that we have here three different occurrences of 85. And the other one is 95, which we can see right here we have two occurrences of that number. So the most common data point in our set is 85. And these three numbers make up the different measures of central tendency we tend to report. So our mean was 79.11, our median was 85, and our mode was 85 as well. 